In this video, we're going to cover how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. The letters a, b, and c in this formula refer to the numbers from a quadratic equation. For example, in this equation, 3x squared plus 7x minus 13 equals 0. a is 3, because there's a 3 in front of the x squared term. b is 7, and c is negative 13. So to use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic, all we have to do is plug these values into the formula. But weirdly, we end up getting two answers because of this plus minus thing, which means that we have to do the formula twice, once with a plus sign and then again with a minus sign. So if we start with the plus sign one, we'd get x equals minus 7, because remember b is 7, plus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 3 for the a and times negative 13 for the c, all divided by 2 times 3. And then for the minus version, we get exactly the same thing, except we're subtracting the big square root. If they ask for the solution to a certain number of decimal places, like give your answer to two decimal places, then you can just plug the whole thing straight into your calculator, which for this one on the left would be 1.22, and for the one on the right would be negative 3.55. But you do need to be careful because it's really easy to make a mistake. The most common problem is with this minus sign inside the square root. So it's always best to stick these four AC bits in a bracket. Now, sometimes you might be asked instead to find the exact value of the solution, which means that you can't round it to a certain number of decimal places or significant figures. Instead, you have to just simplify it down as much as you can. If we try this for our minus version on the right, the minus 7 can't be simplified. But inside the square root, we can change the 7 squared to 49, and the takeaway 4 times 3 times negative 13 to minus negative 156. And then on the bottom, we can simplify the 2 times 3 to just divide by 6. Then if we do the 49 minus negative 156, the two negatives turn into a plus, and we get positive 205 in the square root, while the rest of the answer stays the same. Sometimes you might be able to simplify down the root, but in this case we can't, so this is the most simple it can go and we'd leave our answer like this. And for the positive version of the equation on the left, our answer would be almost the same, except it would change the minus sign to a plus sign. So we'd get negative seven plus root 205 over six. Let's try one more. This time we're trying to solve x squared minus five x minus eight equals zero and we need to leave our answer to three significant figures. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what a, b, and c are. And it's worth writing those out separately. So a is one, because if there isn't a number in front of the x squared, then there's effectively one x squared. b is negative five, and c is negative eight. Then you want to write out your formula and plug in all of your values. So x equals minus negative 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8, all divided by 2 times 1, which then simplifies to x equals positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus negative 32, all over two. And then we can simplify this bit in the square root again to 25 plus 32, or 57. So now that we've simplified it as much as we can, we know that our two solutions for this question will be five plus root 57 over two, which given to three significant figures is 6.27, and also 5 minus root 57 all over 2, 
which is minus 1.27. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so if you found it useful, then please do give it a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.